Hello, this is Conan Elliott and I'm Director of Instruction here at Camas Meadows Golf Club in Camas, Washington. Today we're going to talk about golf drills for kids. The equipment we need for this is naturally we need a golf club and we need a golf ball. You know, with those things we can get everything we want to get done. The first drill I like to see kids do, you know, for a long time, equipment for golf for kids, you couldn't start children until they were maybe 10, 9, 10, 11 years old because of the weight of the club. We were basically cutting off adult golf clubs to make them shorter for them, and they were very heavy out on the end. So the tendency would be that when we take it to the top, the kids would drop the club back over their shoulder and their arms would all fold up simply because of the weight of the club. That's not the case today. Today we have very, very light, short golf clubs that are made for young people. Young people as young as three and four years old that can start to learn to play this game now and actually start taking an instruction about the time they're five or so because they can actually perform the act because the club fits them and lets them do that. One of the main things I like to see the kids do as a drill is to Take the club in their right hand if they're right-handed, left hand if they're left-handed. Hold your right, left hand in the, right in the crease of your elbow. Hold on to that and when you turn back, learn to set the club into a perfect L. So we have the club not dropping, but level at the top, our arm vertical and our arm level. So holding on to that is how they learn to do that. If you don't hold on to it, they'll kind of take it up like that and they'll be out in a bad position. So hold on in the elbow, turn, and set the club there. Very, very good drill. You can actually swing a golf club that way. Awfully good for kids. The second one is most kids, as most people do when they first start playing, slice the ball to the right. The ball wants to go to the right. And that's because they don't rotate the hands over. So I like to see kids when they first start to practice a little bit, not all the time, but with what we call a split grip, where instead of our hands being together, each hand, across. It's a lot like holding a hockey stick, and you'll find hockey players are pretty good golfers because of this. But when, when they swing, their hands automatically roll over. They can't swing it without turning their hands over. And learning to rotate through there is one of the main things in learning to play the game of golf. So just a split grip, Short swings, don't have to do it with a ball, they can if they want, and just let those arms rotate over like that. Those two things are very good. The second, third one I like to see for kids, I teach it all the time, is to get their feet close together. Maybe just a half of your foot width. So you're just a little, so that you're swinging in that circle, learning to stay in balance, learning to keep your upper body over your lower body. Kids want to get wide, reach out, and really get after it with their arms. And we want to learn to keep our body over our hips and turning our shoulders. So getting their feet close together, let them hit balls with their feet close together. Arm in an athletic L, just like you're going to throw. Touching, split grip for rotation feet close together to learn to keep our upper body over our lower body. This is Conan Elliott and that's Swing Drills for Kids.